Hello everyone, this is Scott C. Ware and UFOSightingsDaily.com. Today I have something a little erotic for you. I'm trying to keep it clean as possible, but this is from space. This is Asteroid Eros. Uh, this is an original NASA photo, and what it looks like to me is the close-up area of a pelvis and upper thighs of a woman. Okay, it looks female to me. It looks like a semi-pregnant woman. Uh, <laughs> but this is what I saw when I saw it first. And I was like, what the hell? Where did this come from? What is this? Can't be. And I looked at it. It was on a NASA website. And it was, it was uh, an asteroid. And I'll show you that website page in just a second. Uh, but you can see that this is the stomach area, the upper thigh, other thigh and the lower crotch area. Now, uh, the Eros, they got the name Eros. Uh, and the thing is, the Eros happens to be the ancient Greek god of love. Is this a coincidence or what? Uh, he's a Roman counterpart of Cupid. Remember Cupid? Uh, normally he is described as one of the children of Aphrodite and Ares. Uh, so, you've probably heard about him if you know uh, anything about uh, Greek mythology. Okay, this is the original photo on the NASA website. You can see this is the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And you can see the picture right over here. You want to download one of these links right here. There's two of them. It doesn't really matter which one you download. However, uh, this is just extraordinary in the fact that uh, this is from asteroid Eros. See, it says, Near Shoemaker took uh, this picture looking across the saddle region of Eros on December 9th, 2000, from an 80 kilometer mile altitude. Okay, this was 80 miles away from it. And <laughs> this is what it sees. And they said it was a saddle region. Okay, that, that's kind of pretty interesting too. Um, it says this high boulder area is a broad ridge that separates the main and eastern western parts. Okay, but the, the fact is this is pretty extraordinary. Let's change the lighting and you can see that, that uh, this is quite a photograph. Um, it does appear to be kind of erotic, doesn't it? It appears to be um, a little bit a figure of a a nude woman. Now, you might say, Scott, what do you got? You got sex on your mind. Yeah, I'm a guy. I have sex on the mind. Uh, but this is what I see, okay? Uh, I'm not seeing a face. I'm not seeing a rocket ship. I'm not seeing uh, some ancient technology or anything. I'm seeing this interesting fact that could be probably a coincidence or it could be deliberate on purpose. And that's why they call the asteroid Eros. Um, but Perhaps Eros is a female, not a male. Maybe we got that backwards over thousands of years. It's very possible. Greek mythology probably came from, um, uh, I believe, part of the writer of the Iliad, Homer, uh, was supposed to be um, a person who helped found some of the Greek mythology gods, and nobody really knows who he is. And uh, it's very possible that he was, you know, from space. He was... Uh, uh, advanced and an advanced species from another planet and uh, it's also very possible that NASA saw this Eero statue or a huge Eero statue on this asteroid and they decided to call it Eros for a reason and they just blur out that part and they don't show that side of the asteroid ever uh, is very possible I mean if you saw a giant uh, statue the size of Statue of Liberty, or bigger, or miles long, um, on an asteroid. Would you want to tell the public if they didn't even know aliens exist? Of course, you wouldn't want to tell them. Uh, but they would freak out if you did. So this is kind of cool. I just, I'm just i playing with the lighting here to show you uh, the different settings and things like that. Um, there's a little bump over here. But this really, this is really unusual, isn't it? Is this something you would not expect on a NASA website? You would expect on a porn site or something. Uh, it looks like it's carved from a piece 
if you took a piece of a, a statue of Leonardo da Vinci, the, the marble statues that he carved, uh, this would be the crotch area of, of one of the females. Uh, pretty extraordinary. And I just wanted to share that with you. Perhaps it's coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence. I believe all things have purpose and they are all linked and they all have patterns. And this one did have a pattern. It just, I saw this photo. I didn't even know what it was from. And I, and I thought, hey, this looks like it's from a female, a nude female. And then I look and whoa, it's from Eros. Eros, the asteroid. Eros, isn't that an ancient Greek god? And it really is. Uh, he's the ancient Greek god of love. Okay, this is Scott C. Warren of UFOSightingsDaily.com. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave your porn comments, your porn comments uh, below, please. All right, see you later.